Good morning, everybody. Markets were pretty volatile this week, but we managed to finish up. To, uh, December 22, corn was up seven cents. In November, beans were up 29 cents on the week. Soybeans closed at 13.15 on Friday. We did set a new contract high this week at 13.25, so that was nice to see. We had a strong end of the week after on Tuesday showed some weakness due to the rain in South America. Indicators took a nice healthy pullback last week and managed to turn back higher, and now we have some uh, room to run. So could, could possibly set a new contract high next week if we get some good news. Spec funds are still net long 99,000 contracts. They did sell 7,000 contracts through January 18th, but we did finish the week on a bullish note. So next week, those numbers should be higher. Corn closed the week at 565. Uh, looking more bullish now that we finally started to break out of the tight range that we were trading in. And we did set a new contract high this week at 566. We're still trading above all major moving averages. Um, the momentum and strength indicators are looking bullish. They do have room to run. And if we continue to have some geopolitical news, it could really send these markets even higher. Spec funds are net long 326,000 contracts. They did sell 18,000 contracts through January 18th. But again, we ended the week on a bullish note and next week's report should show higher numbers of them buying some contracts back. General updates, we did get rain in South America over the weekend and on Tuesday, which was reflected in the prices on the markets. We opened the week pretty, uh, pretty slow. Um, but however, we're still worried about the quality of these grains coming out of South America. And then on top of that, we have Russian and Ukrainian tensions, um, and those are really sending the grain markets higher, and it did through the end of the week. About a third of the world's wheat is grown in the Black Sea area, so this will have an effect um, if, if there is a war that started between the two countries. If there's an invasion, commodities and energy markets should continue to keep rising, um, but if Russia does back down at some point, there will be managed money that exits the commodity and energy markets, which could, we could see some negative pressure on commodities if that does happen. In regards to crop insurance, we're still doing 2021 production reports. We're almost all the way through, but uh, we will be contacting you if we haven't already. County products, uh, the deadline to report production is February 15th, so we want to make sure we get those done in time. We are going to be at the Midwest Ag Expo in Gordyville, which is right outside of Rantoul, Illinois, uh, on the 26th and 27th, which is next Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, if you stop by our booth, we have a free lunch voucher. We'd like to talk to you about the 2022 crop year and different updates that are taking place in crop insurance and grain marketing as well. We wanna thank you for your business. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to our office and we'd be happy to help you out. Thank you very much and have a great weekend.